is happening guys it is done a lot of today tonight welcome back to the Hereford United career this is episode 71 now tracking our minds back to the last episode if you haven't seen the last episode go back and watch it it was probably one of the craziest episodes we've had all series we had a 1-1 draw against Chelsea which could have said we could have won it they could have won it it was a 50-50 game and then we had an extraordinary game against Brighton 3-3 a red card a penalty that game was like I said crazy if you haven't seen it go back and watch it and then Southampton's goalkeeper um, kept them in the game for the majority of it because he made eight nine ten brilliant saves and we only managed to get the one goal but we did get the three points so moving on to today's episode we have Brighton at home in the cup which I will simulate we also have uh, Nottingham Forest away, which we should get a comfortable win as they've just come up to the Premier League. And then we also have Bournemouth at home as well. Um, and again, they've come up from the Championship, so it should be a comfortable win. And the last played game of the episode will be Tottenham away. We've already beaten them once this season. I'm hoping we can do the same again. So the first game is the quarterfinals against Brighton. So let's just have a quick look at the standings. What I might do is I might play this one and simulate the Nottingham Forest game. Let's have a look who who is still in it. Um, where are the last ones to play to be? I'll tell you what, I'll, I will simulate this. If we beat Brighton and make it through to the last four, like we did last time with Arsenal, I'll play it from there and do it that way. So... Uh, we'll simulate the Brighton game, we will play Nottingham Forest, we'll play at Bournemouth, and then we will play at Tottenham. That's how we'll do today's episode, guys. So, without further ado, I'll swap the team around and we'll simulate the first game. Team all swapped around then, guys. As you can see, Roberts on the left, Abameyang in the centre, Fernandez on the right. I've gone O'Reilly and Walt in midfield. I've gone Doyle in the sitting position. I've gone Thomas, Adam, Miranda and Paslak in defence, and Griffiths in goal. It should be enough to get the win against Brighton. As you can see, Belotti is still pretty tired and they've got uh, one or two defenders. Lamptey is still pretty tired. So I'm hoping that should be enough to get the simulated win and move on. We just about do it, guys. It was 1-1 during the game and then we go through 5-4 on penalties. So it was Tyler Wall that scored first and they equalised before half-time and then nothing in the second half and then it went through on penalties and it looks like... Fernandez clinched it with the last penalty to take it 5-4. Roberts missed the penalty, Locke missed the penalty. So, controversial game, as it always seems to be against Brighton, to be fair. But we do make it through to the next round. The EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup, was ours from last season. So, we will see who we will get in the next round. <clears throat> Obviously, progressing is us, Wolves, Fulham, uh, surprising against Leicester as well, and Chelsea. So, really, you'd like to think that us and Chelsea are favourites to be in the final, but we shall see. Moving on to the first played game of the episode then, guys. We have Nottingham Forest, who are brand new to the Premier League. They came up, obviously, last season into this season. And let's have a look how they are getting on. We've got a match rescheduled there. We'll get rid of that. Let's have a look how they are getting on in the standings. I would predict they've got to be in the bottom three. I can't see them being anywhere but the bottom three, but let's have a look. They are actually in 16th. They've not done too bad. They've got 16 points. Norwich and Bournemouth, Villa, West Brom have all had a worse start than them. But they are in 16th, and we are up in fourth place. I'm going to say third then, but we're in fourth. So it should be a comfortable victory, but... We'll see you in the game, eh? Into the first played game of the episode then, guys. We are away at Nottingham Forest. I can't recall when we were at championship level what kind of... Obviously, the game was against Nottingham Forest when we were at that level anyway, but they've made their way into the Premier League and they have done well, so we can't underestimate them. We're not going to say that it's going to be a comfortable victory because I'm going to go as much as possible as I can at them. I'm going to really attack them as much as possible. They are at the bottom end of the table. We're at the top end of the table. You'd expect it to be a comfortable win, but let's not underestimate them. As you can see here, best defence record in the league, even better than Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal are all above us in the league. So let's see how we get on today. I'm hoping that we will continue our obviously good defensive record. And we will score some goals as well. So I'll wait for the lineups to come up, guys, and then we'll get straight into the action. Let's 
Here we are then, let's have a look who Knott's Forest have. Don't recognise anybody in the defensive positions. Don't recognise anybody the don't really recognise anybody in their team. Not as as far as you'd say Premier League potential goes anyway. So as we line up, Josh Griffiths in goal, Tommy Doyle, Malang Saar, Maitland Niles, Mings and Kalastinac in defence. Conor Gallagher and Tyler Wall in midfield. Harry Wilson, Kirk Wilson and Dembele up top. So I'd like to say we've got the far superior side, but we need to show it on the field. So let's get into the football, find out what's going to happen. Here's Malang Saar over towards Kalasinac into Tyler Wall. We've had some good possession early here. I'm hoping we can make it count. Here's Conor Gallagher waiting for Kirk Wilson to make with a run. I'll go on the outside towards Dembele. If he can get there, Dembele he certainly doesn't, but he's making the job harder for the fullback. He gets the tackle in, and that's out for a Nottingham Forest throw. Putting some early pressure on them here, and if Dembele can pinch that ball, or Kirk Wilson can pinch it, we might be able to have an early chance, but cleared up the pitch, only into Maitland-Niles, Conor Gallagher running forward, was a good tackle, he did win the ball, Maitland-Niles brings it forward, here's Tyler Wall on the outside, whips it across, and he's just missed the target, so close to the opener inside 10 minutes, he just tried to whip it towards the back post, and he's just sent it wide, lofty ball forward, and... Nathan Niles brings that down, uses Tyron Mings in towards Tyler Wall. Plenty of space ahead of him. Dembele might be free here if I could get him in. And the ball was dropped towards Nathan Niles. We'll try again. Here's Harry Wilson trying to go on the outside. And his man's gone to Grim there. And he's left the space for Harry Wilson. Chip this in towards Kirk Wilson. The goalkeeper picks it up. Probably should have played it on the ground but Maitland Niles win that header he certainly can in towards Conor Gallagher here's Maitland Niles again Tyler Wall over towards Dembele try and get Harry Wilson in the middle here here is Harry Wilson with a decent effort and the goalkeeper had to make the stop he's not been bad at the start of this game Nottingham Forest goalkeeper and keeping Harry Wilson out is not an easy job but he's doing it so far I'm going to call um, Harry Wilson in short give this to Tyler Wall in the corner look towards ping this at the back stick Conor Gallagher is there with the volley and drags it wide of the target Griffiths lofting that goal kick forward looking for Kirk Wilson on the header Kirk Wilson didn't win the head but can he win possession he certainly can and get this down towards Dembele Dembele looking for some support here drop it into midfield it's Kirk Wilson who's dropped in support here's Harry Wilson if I can give this back to Kirk Wilson he might have a simple finish here and he certainly does Kirk Wilson has been in goal scoring form this season and shows it again here away at Nottingham Forest. Kirk Wilson and Harry Wilson seem to be connecting together very well in the middle and down that left and right hand side. And again they combined quick pass in towards Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson round the corner for Kirk Wilson and finish in the top corner. That's 1-0 Hurryford United. Into Conor Gallagher down on the chest round the corner to Harry Wilson. We've really got our tails up now. Here's Tommy Doyle joining the attack this time. Tommy Doyle sprinting down the far side. See if I can get a decent cross in here but it's a good tackle by the full back to win. The ball there is trying to utilise that space. Malang Saar comes to step over. He's beating him for pace. Here comes Mings to stop the cross coming in. I think it hit his arm, hence the advantage there. And they are coming forward here. Nottingham Forest looking dangerous. Can Malang Saar get the tackle in? He did get a tackle in, but didn't win possession. And is that going to be a foul? That is going to be a foul. They have a free kick here in a dangerous position. Malang Saar trying to get the tackle in. And ended up causing a foul. Is he going to go for a goal? It looks like he's going to shoot. And way over the top of the bar. Might as well stay with you guys as there's three minutes added on here before half time. We'll just try and play it out here and see if we can get a second maybe before half time. Here's Tyler Wall. Going to send this out wide towards Dembele. See if I can get this into Kirk Wilson who has made me a run on the outside. I'll send it in towards his feet. Here's Kirk Wilson waiting for Dembele to make me that run into the box. And just try and hold it up waiting for somebody to drop at the edge and here is Kirk Wilson again trying to get him around the corner it drops to Harry Wilson and the goalkeeper makes a good stop almost pinched a second there before half time let's try this little corner trick we have again here so into Harry Wilson at the edge of the box towards Tyler Wall see if he can whip it towards goal that's a wonderful whip goalkeeper comfortable save and it's half time into the second half we go then guys and to be honest it's all been Hurryford United we've had all the chances we've had majority of the ball 
and Nottingham Forest struggling to keep up with our pace here. I'm hoping that we can just get a couple of goals now and try and bury this game off in the second half. Let's see if we can get something early here. Tyler Wall coming forward. Here's Kirk Wilson around the corner looking for Harry Wilson and that's going to go straight into a Nottingham Forest head. If Midland Males can win it, he's not going to win it either. Play will continue for now, guys. Wilson battling for the ball here and has won possession on the way out. Harry Wilson going down the line. See if I can find him and he was onside if I could have found him but Nottingham Forest do pick up the ball and start coming towards our goal. Maleng Sar should deal with this easily in towards Tyron Mings. Give this to Tyler Wall. Use Dembele. See if Tyler Wall wants to come around the corner for me. Give it back to Dembele. In the middle it's Maitland Niles who has a lot of space to run into here and give it back towards Dembele and that was a really good interception but Maitland Niles is there for the header Conor Gallagher down towards Maitland Niles let's have an effort with Maitland Niles and just tipping the post I just thought then let's have a go with Maitland Niles as he put so much effort and work into it he gets the shot away and nearly comes up with a belter there it hits the post and out for a goal kick Nottingham Forest have themselves a corner here guys almost approaching the 65th minute and let's try and get rid of this then Bele gets a header partially away but they've still got the ball in and around a dangerous area here and Harry Wilson couldn't get a tackle in thankfully Griffiths does pick up the ball we'll throw this out towards Tyler Wall and it's intercepted by a Nottingham Forest player and he's coming towards the far side here and they are looking a lot more dangerous in the second half than they did in the first half playing the ball around nicely in and around the box but Malang Sar gets a good block on that stops it building into anything else ball towards the back post Conor Gallagher with a decent header away here's uh, Harry Wilson Dembele has made me a run on the far side if I can ping him in behind and that's a really good header by the Nottingham Forest man it's back and forward here in this second half a lot better than it was in the first half it all seems to be us but we have some defending to do in this second half and Tyron Mings getting a good tackling out for a Nottingham Forest throw on the far side they have turned it on a little bit in this second half Nottingham Forest and they're looking a little bit dangerous in front of our goal but Josh Griffiths with a good save and I think the Nottingham Forest man was offside there but either way Josh Griffiths did stop it as you'll see he's just offside here he did make the save but it wasn't necessary three substitutions here guys Kirk Wilson Harry Wilson and Dembele off Alf, um, sorry Fernandez, um, Locke and um, Abamyang on I can't remember who I'd brought on and off then <laughs> Abamyang, Fernandez and uh, lock on for the first three I thought just to get fresh legs up front might just help us seal this win but round the corner towards Tommy Doyle Fernandez making me a run straight away off the bench Aubameyang in at the back post and it's been cleared by Nottingham Forest defender here not long left in the game guys might as well just play it out with you here because it's only 1-0 we have had some chances to score in this game we just haven't seemed to finish our chances but Nottingham Forest coming forward here has got a big gap in that centre defensive position but chooses to go back here and keep all the possession two minutes added on can we try and pinch this ball get forward and finish a second I really would like a second in this game just to bury it off but they might get a chance to get an equaliser here if it wasn't for Josh Griffiths making a fantastic save brilliant save there by Josh Griffiths keeping us in the game otherwise it might have been deadly there but here's Kalasinac I don't think we'll get enough time to press forward we might do if we get the pass off but no we don't it's just a 1-0 win we do get the three points but we should have scored more goals back at the menu then guys and just the one goal in it definitely should have scored more we had a lot more possession of the ball a lot more of the chances but just a 1-0 we'll take the three points it does move us into second place now above Manchester City and on the same points as Liverpool, we have Bournemouth in the next game. As we said, Bournemouth are in the bottom three. So, depending on who Liverpool have in the next game, we could be top of the table after the next game against Bournemouth as they're in relegation battle. So, let's go straight into the next game, guys, and see if we can get three points and finish today at the top of the table. Here we are then guys at Edgar Street Stadium. We are at home today. We have the home crowd behind us. We also have very familiar opponents, Bournemouth. As you guys know, not last season, the season before, we beat Bournemouth to come up into the Premier League by the playoffs. We do have a lot of history with them and every single time we played them, it's always been a very entertaining game. I'm hoping it will be entertaining for your point of view. I'm hoping it will be entertaining goal-wise. 
because we've been lacking a little bit recently on goals. The start of the season, we were absolutely pinging them in. And against Nottingham Forest in the last game, only the one goal in it. And I remember in the last episode, the Southampton game, only the one goal in it. So hopefully there'll be a few more goals in today's episode. And let's have a look at our lineup for today. So Josh Griffiths in goal. I've had to go past Lack, Miranda, Tommy Doyle, Amadou and Thomas in the defensive positions. I've gone O'Reilly and Roberts in midfield today. And I've gone Fernandez, Abamyang and Locke on the left-hand side. Locke, who recently scored his first goal for the club. Hopefully he can get another one today. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the football. And hopefully we'll get a comfortable three points. There's Locke turning and twisting, trying to find a way through here. Well, to Patrick Roberts in midfield today. Chips that through towards Fernandez. Abamyang making me a run through the middle. I'll use him, try and send it to O'Reilly in the middle here. One more to Roberts. And Roberts could have been in there if it wasn't for the interception. But Bournemouth break away on a counter here and might have a dangerous chance themselves. We know that their football is the counter attack football. They've scored on us a few times doing that in the past, breaking away on counter attacks and having decent chances on our goal but Amadou shuts that down before it becomes a problem or are looking for Roberts and he will get there Roberts he'll send it over towards Fernandez with his lightning pace should be able to get past his man here he'll have to pull it back look for Roberts again in towards O'Reilly who's free to shoot here O'Reilly makes it 1-0 that was a very good effort from O'Reilly just outside the box he had a couple of options I think Locke was running just ahead of him and he had um, somebody else on the far side to play it to but he wasn't needed because O'Reilly lashes that into the back of the net to make it 1-0. We said at the start of the game we were struggling for goals and we needed them. And O'Reilly says, no worries, I'll provide you with one. Bang, 1-0. There's Tommy Doyle. Held possession too long there, Tommy Doyle. And he was caught out in the tackle. Bournemouth pick up possession and start heading towards us on this far side. Miranda's pushed over to try and win the tackle. And he certainly does there, Miranda. It was a very good tackle in towards Patrick Roberts. Running down this left-hand side, looking for Aubameyang. That's a decent pass. O'Reilly making me another good run forward here. O'Reilly to make it two, and that's a good save from the goalkeeper. He did spill it, but eventually he picks it up. The danger's gone. Bournemouth bringing the ball through midfield here. That's a decent pass into Jefferson Wormer. Holding up to play here, and O'Reilly gets a tackle in on Jefferson Wormer, who held it way too long. Here's Patrick Roberts in towards... Aubameyang through lock and Aubameyang was trying to get O'Reilly around that corner again he's been very dangerous with his runs in this game O'Reilly over to lock but cleared away by the Bournemouth centre back and there's Amadou up to win the header as well in towards Aubameyang around the corner towards lock lock has a chance to try and whip across in here which he certainly does towards Fernandez up for the header and just over the top of the bar one minute added on here guys before half time and I did want a second before half time but it doesn't look like it will happen unless Locke can provide something here running through the middle he's got a chance here hits it and he's lashed it wide of the target there's half time into the second half we go then guys and it's been one of those stories we have had multiple chances we just haven't taken them we should be at least 2-0 up here I wanted a second before half time it didn't happen so we need to get one or two goals in this second half Bournemouth coming forward here and looking dangerous with some good possession and runners going forward he's got a chance to play it in behind he's chosen to drop it to the midfielder and that is a decent ball in a wide position towards Brooks Brooks with a chance at the edge of the box and what a hit that was David Brooks with a top draw finish I am not sure whether it took a deflection or not it looked like it just steamed in the top corner to be honest but that is one hell of a finish. Let's have another look at it. Did it take a deflection on the way through? I'm sure Tommy Doyle tried to stick a leg out. Amadou tried to stick a leg out. It doesn't take a deflection. It flies in the top corner. That is a brilliant finish from Brooks. Josh Griffiths, no chance of getting there. It's 1-1. Bournemouth have got possession again here. And they've really got the tails up since scoring. They're keeping hold of the ball a lot better. They are passing a lot better. And I am struggling to get the ball off them. Decent ball in a wide position. They are coming forward again here and we can't concede again. Otherwise, we will be down in this game. Currently 1-1, but we don't want to concede again. We might do here off the top of the bar. 
they have been much much better in this second half and maybe that should have been the second for them we'll try and counter attack and try and get a second of our own here if we can Fernandez around the corner we might have them on the counter attack he's normally clinical from this area and he certainly doesn't let me down Fernandez with a brilliant finish they go up our end they hit the crossbar we counter attack and get Fernandez around the corner and Fernandez makes no mistake putting that in the top corner O'Reilly again heavily involved getting the assist around the corner and how about that for a lightning bolt finish from Fernandez 2-1 Bournemouth bringing the ball forward here and Paslak trying to pinch that he's got round the corner and he's brought down the ball looking like he's going to be in a dangerous area here Paslak up for the header and I think that's out for a corner five minutes left in this game and we can't concede now we concede now that is the three points gone I was going to make a change there but again just no stamina on the bench I've, I've made one change so far I've took Tommy Doyle off and put Maitland Niles on but the last five minutes of the game here we need to defend Fernandez header away I might as well stay with you here guys and play it out not long left Bournemouth bringing the ball forward here down the line decent pass they've got possession and they've played much much better in the second half the only reason we're in front is because we counter attacked after them hitting the crossbar David Brooks on the ball that's a really good tackle by Locke good tackle by Thomas we're trying to keep them at bay but they've got in the middle here decent effort Josh Griffiths with the save keeping us in it though Josh Griffiths with three minutes added on they have another corner we've really got to defend for our lives here and try and get rid of this ball header does come in and thankfully it's over the top of the bar that should be the victory now but we've really had to fight hard for it header down towards Brooksy again Brooksy coming forward should be able to get there first Thomas he does lock down the line there's almost three minutes gone can we get forward and try and get an extra goal at the end here that is a chop on Aubameyang there and he's got himself a yellow card at the end of the game free kick to come in to be the last well, the last action of the game give this to Miranda I'm just going to have a go from distance here with Miranda and that should be the end of the game it is the end of the game it's a 2-1 victory back at the menu then guys and not a straightforward win at all Bournemouth really gave us a run for our money and we just about steal it 2-1 if it wasn't for the man of the match performance by O'Reilly getting a goal and an assist I don't think we'd have clinched that game but we just about clinch it thanks to Fernandez and O'Reilly and we sit in second position on the same points as Liverpool and obviously they're in front just for a goal difference because we haven't done goal difference but Griffiths was fantastic in that game and as you can see by is it the next window as you can see here clean sheets 10 in the season now for Josh Griffiths he is really excelling this season making some brilliant saves also the transfer window is now open it is the 1st of January the transfer window is open obviously I won't do any transfer business until next episode we will play Tottenham next and then obviously leave me a comment underneath guys anywhere you think we need to strengthen anyone we can bring in any options do let me know leave me your comments bear in mind we don't have a huge amount of money but if there's anyone that you want to see out of the club anyone that you think needs moving on anyone you think holding us back anything like that leave a comment guys and I will see what I can do we don't really have many options transfer wise I really these are the only two that I want to bring in to strengthen obviously Lamptey to strengthen the right back position but we've moved Doyle there now so he's been pretty solid so far and obviously Edward to replace uh, Aubameyang who is retiring at the end of the season so like I said leave me a comment and let me know but moving on we will go straight into the Tottenham game let me see is it home or away I can't quite remember as you can see Tottenham are in sixth place and chasing us and we are away at Tottenham I will see you there into the final game of the episode guys we are away at Tottenham not going to be an easy game at all we have managed to beat them already this season I think it was a 1-0 win if I remember rightly early in the season but certainly not going to underestimate them they are a very very strong side and they have some great quality in their team we are not we've not been in great form we've been in okay form but not great form so 
<clears throat> whether that's going to play an effect on today's game, I don't know. But apparently player to watch today is Conor Gallagher. He is the lead assister in the Premier League at the minute with seven assists. So I'm hoping Conor Gallagher can provide those passes through the middle for the three strikers up front today. We shall see how that goes. But I'll wait for the lineups, guys, and then we'll get straight into the football. Here we are then guys, Tottenham's lineup. Hugo Lloris still in goal. Emerson and Calvin Phillips in midfield. Uh, they have made a few transfers, definitely. Harry Kane and Human Son still there. They've made a few changes since the last time we've played them. And they're looking a very strong side. They are chasing us in the Premier League. As we line up, Josh Griffiths in goal. I've had to go Maitland Niles, Malengsa, Amadou, Tyron Mings, and Kalasinach as Tommy Doyle is still tired from last game. Conor Gallagher and Wall in midfield. Harry Wilson, Kirk Wilson, and Dembele up top. Fingers crossed, this side will be strong enough to get at least a draw here or away at Tottenham. We shall see. Here's Harry Kane around the corner towards Calvin Phillips. Tottenham coming forward with possession early here and we've not managed to get hold of the ball just yet here's Harry Kane again coming forward Kelvin Phillips there to try and help him out we've got a lot of men forward here a lot of white shirts we're struggling to defend against this Harry Kane around the corner gets his shot away and thankfully lashes it over the top of the bar Tottenham continuing their pressure here 10 minutes gone they have themselves a corner human son pulling over short whips it towards the edge of the box towards Phillips and a good shot but thankfully Griffiths was on hand to catch it and make light work of it. Let's try and get forward on a counter attack here as Tottenham still have a lot of players forward. Here's Harry Wilson round the corner getting down the line and Harry Wilson was clipped there but we have advantage. We'll try and swing this in here looking for Dembele in the middle. It's cleared towards the edge of the box and it's fired away. Harry Kane will bring this down but only find Maitland Niles. Here's Conor Gallagher trying to get Dembele round the corner. Takes a good first touch and a hit. And Hugo Lloris makes a brilliant save. Conor Gallagher down towards Harry Wilson. We might still have a chance here with Conor Gallagher. Edge of the box. Go for a whip. And Hugo Lloris with a good save. Top of again with possession. Coming down our far side. Maitland Niles does get a really good tackle in here. And here's Conor Gallagher coming forward. Can we try and get attack of our own here? Dembele making me a forward run. Here's Kirk Wilson. Look for Maitland Niles. See if I can get this ball down the line towards Tyler Wall. Decent pass into Harry Wilson. Round the corner to Kirk Wilson. Can it be? Kirk Wilson off the top of the bar. Harry Wilson up for the header and we get the rebound. Whew. That was a mouthful to try and say. <laughs> ball into the box. Kirk Wilson hits the top of the bar. He ricochets out and Harry Wilson is up for the rebound header in. We've got ourselves in front here. Away at Tottenham as it ricocheted off the top of the bar and Harry Wilson climbs up high beating Hugo Lloris and making it 1-0 approaching half time here guys one minute added on and Tottenham are really trying to get back in this game they've had possession since we've scored and they're really trying to get back in it decent ball out wide and uh, thankfully Klasinac comes away. into the second half we go then guys and we just managed to get in front it was a rebound goal but I think we did enough to deserve it. They have had more of the ball. They've had better chances. But we took our chance when it came. So 1-0 for now. We'll see what happens in the second half. Long ball lofted forward. Harry Kane up for the header in towards Calvin Phillips. And they're doing what they did in the first half. Keeping hold of the ball well. Passing it well. And hopefully it won't lead to anything. But decent ball around the corner in towards Harry Kane. He's got a chance to turn and shoot here. And Josh Griffiths gets a really vital glove to it. It was a really good shot that from a tight angle from Harry Kane. And it was going in the top corner. It needed stopping. Josh Griffiths does stop it. But they're making a change here. It looks like Deli Alley is coming on the field. And they also have themselves a corner. We just need to try and defend this because they have some tall players that are good at heading. Decent header away by Conor Gallagher. It drops to Calvin Phillips at the edge of the box. Who goes for a distant shot and apparently it's hit an arm I knew straight away when it hit him that the referee was going to blow 
I think it's hit Amadou's arm. He's just tried to get the block in there, Amadou. And <clears throat> trying to protect his chest or his face. It's handball and Harry Kane has the chance to equalise in this game. I've got a feeling he might go left. He does go left and we've saved it. Not only are we in front here, we've saved a penalty. They still have a throw, it still could be dangerous. They might still have the tails up here and Deli Alley with a decent burst forward, but thankfully Maitland Niles has got it and he's crunched into Maitland Niles there, Deli Alley, who's just come on and he's got a stern warning from the referee. Tottenham have a throw deep in our half here and again they are playing a lot of pressure. We've saved the penalty so far, we just need to try and keep them out and we do get a good block in Tyler Wall tries to clear away but it's only in towards a Tottenham man in towards Calvin Phillips who has been their go-to danger man in this game he almost got around the corner and thankfully Kolasinac does get a good tackling can we try and get this ball into Dembele Dembele could be away here if he sprints away from his man Dembele I haven't really got time to play it across the box I'll try and whip it up for Harry Harry he's just wow I, I couldn't even get the words out there how has Harry Wilson got up for that I, I was literally just trying to sit it at the back post and Harry Wilson has managed to get above the defender to make it 2-0. Against the smaller teams, we struggle to score goals. We are against the bigger teams and I have no idea how Harry Wilson has got up for that. It's just an absolute peach of a ball from Dembele. Harry Wilson gets up and heads that 2-0 home. Deli Alley bringing the ball forward here, 80 minutes gone here guys and Tottenham have been trying to get back in the game the entire game and we've counter attacked twice and we've scored twice but they got round the corner there, Josh Griffiths was called upon and made another fantastic save. They have themselves a corner late in the game here trying to get back in it, Human Son going off and you can't say we haven't deserved it so far twice we've got forward on counter attacks and twice we've found the back of the net and we are hanging on here for what could be a vital win Tottenham have themselves a free kick here just inside our half see if they can create something from here they have come forward to the majority of this game we just managed to keep them out ball around the corner though decent effort and Josh Griffiths again with another brilliant save he's been the highlight of the series so far since signing Josh Griffiths, he's made that many saves, I I can't even think. He's just been absolutely world class. We should be able to get rid of this. And Josh Griffiths again showing his class there. Two minutes added on here, guys. I might as well play it out from here. Tyler Wall forward. We might be on a counter-attack for a third here. Tyler Wall's got plenty of room. And I'm tempted just to have a go with Tyler Wall here. Calvin Phillips blocks the original shot. The second shot comes in and it's saved by Hugo Lloris. Four minutes added on here quite a big healthy chunk of added time and Tottenham are going to try and come forward and at least get one back but that's a loose pass there into Amadou Amadou in towards Conor Gallagher taking his time here going to try and find Kirk Wilson I give the ball away but there's not much time left now for Tottenham to get forward but nice ball over the top he's brought it down he's got time here I'm just going to try and hold him up as much as possible and see this time out there's Tyron Mings clears it away and there is the full time whistle it's a 2-0 victory away at Tottenham back at the menu then guys and we stole another win off Tottenham absolutely brilliant we got forward on two different occasions with counter attacks and managed to get the win off them we did the similar thing to them last time they had all the ball and all possession and they kept bringing themselves forward and every time they did we counter attacked them that's exactly what we did in that game and we managed to get the three points so brilliant really happy about today's episode has gone let's have a look at the standings where we lie for the next bit or in the Premier League anyway as you can see here Carabao Cup we are in the semi-finals against Fulham and Wolves have Chelsea. Leave me a comment, guys. Do you want me to play it? I'm thinking I might do it anyway, but leave me your suggestions in the comment section. We do finish today at the top of the table. 21 games played, 13 won, 5 draws, 3 losses, and we sit on 44 points. We are looking a lot better than I expected. I said I wanted a top 6 finish in this season. Currently, we're sat top of the table and we're coming out with some brilliant performances so 
drop me a comment guys drop me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave me a comment for the next episode about either the cup game that we have next against fulham or the transfers don't forget the transfer window is now open leave me your comments get involved and i will see you in the next episode thank you very much for tuning in guys it's been danilas 1989 love you bye